The Read Segway Traces module is used to load a Segway file into gplatform. Read Segway Traces is designed to take in data from outside gnavigator for use inside the system. To view traces, use the View Segway module. To start, you type in or navigate to the name of the Segway file you want to load in the value column for seismic file name. Under Segway Format, you can specify the details about the format of your Segway files. The default settings are taken from Revision 1 of the Segway format and will work for most standard Segways. But if your file has a different text or binary header size or uses different default integer types, you can change those values here. Trace header format is where you will define your trace header dictionaries. gplatform comes with a number of default dictionaries but you can also create and edit your own dictionaries. To create your own dictionary, select New Format from the drop-down list. Name your new format and then click the blue button to edit your new dictionary. Here we can add or remove fields like FFID or channel and change the byte type and byte starting location. You can also modify your incoming bytes in the expression column. In order to do this, define the byte type and location and then use any standard math or logic expression to modify it. For example, we may need to multiply our incoming source points by 100, so I'm going to type integer 4, 17, and multiply it by 100. Hit OK or Close to save your changes to the dictionary. Your new dictionary will be available for use in other flows later. The Data Datum section here is to tell the system the current datum of your data. For example, if you are loading in field data, you would set your data datum as topography. If you are loading in gathers or a stack that already has been shifted to a predefined datum, you can choose to set the datum as datum trace headers or fixed datum. You can also use this module to shift traces to the datum you define by using the apply trace shift option here. Another option is to load all of the data into RAM memory right away. This is useful if you are loading in single shots or very small segways, as the data will be instantly available for you to view and use. However, this is not a good idea for larger data sets, as your data will occupy a lot of memory in CPU and you can eventually stack the system. Here, you have the option to skip over loading dead traces, load only the dead traces, or to load all your traces, or load them all with the dead traces muted. Under Advanced, you have the option to only load part of your dataset. If you only want to load part of your Segway, choose a number of traces to load. Once you have run Read Segway Traces, you can look in the Information tab. This tab will show you additional information about the Segway you have loaded into the system, including the number of traces loaded and other information stored in the Segway headers. It is important to note that Read Segway Traces does not allow you to view the Segway traces coming in unless the dataset is small enough that you can use the Load to RAM option. To view the traces of a Segway, use the View Segway module instead. For more information, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our other videos, or visit us at geomage.com.